it's amazing how much God will speak to us if we will listen. But it's more amazing how much God does speak to us and we do not listen. John, John 10, 27 says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. Do you know the voice of the Spirit? Do you know the voice of the Spirit? Can you hear the voice of the Spirit in the darkness of your night? Can you hear the voice of the Spirit in the deepness of your valley? Can you hear the voice of the Spirit when life is difficult and there's so much noise going on? I would venture to say that most of us do not hear the voice of the Spirit because of the noise in the world in which we live. There is so much noise. You can't turn it off. It's on your screen. It's in your car. It's on your television. It's in your periodicals that you read. It's on your emails. It's on your job. It's on billboards. It's everywhere you look. There is an overstimuli of information all of which is not godly wisdom, which we have already discussed. This is why you probably need to take time to shut down, turn off, get into a place to where you ask, you study, and you listen. Turn to your neighbor and say, listen up. All right. So here's, here's the last one uh, I want to give you. And that is, how, how do we get wisdom? Number one, we ask. Number two, we study. Number three, we listen. Number four, we connect. 